Hi, this is Richard Lee from Cisco Japan. Today I would like to spend some time to explain how you can customize a web authentication page on a Cisco wireless LAN controller. Now let's get started. Cisco do provide a lot of uh, web authentication templates on the Cisco.com. You can save a lot of time and resource uh, if you do the customization based on those templates. From the download for the 5508 controller, you can see we do have this wireless LAN control web authentication bundle at the bottom of the page. Um, that is exactly what we want to download. Of course, you will need to have a Cisco.com account in order to proceed to the download page. Let's click download. And save the file. It will be a zip file called WebOS Bundle. After the download, unzip the file. You will see a lot of folders uh, include all kinds of templates, including the web authentication, web pass-through, web pass-through with email input, things like that. In this example, I want to customize the web authentication page. Now let's uh, go into that folder. Uh, you will see uh, this is a template page, including some of the logo. Um, now let's go to the HTML editor and uh, try to customize this page. Beyond the customization, I want to show you the localization of the web page. So I'm uh, trying to make a web authentication page in Japanese. Now I've finished customizing this uh, web authentication page. Now I will need to make a tar file including this uh, login.html and also this photo I use as a logo uh, in the web authentication page. Now I'm going back to the controller Click Commands. Uh, as you can see, I've already configured uh, this controller to download this login.tar file from the TFTP. I have to change the file type into WebOS Bundle. Now we can see the TFTP download process has started. and the customized web authentication file has been installed. Now we need to change the web login page into the customized download page. But before we click apply, I want to show you the current uh, web authentication page. Then we click apply. And click preview. Now we can see uh, it is using a totally new authentication page that I customized. Now I'm going to access the web authentication uh, SSID using my iPad. As you can see, I already got the IP address uh, from this SSID. Uh, then I'm going to open the web browser and uh, try to access the controller page. As you can see, uh, the controller is using the customized web authentication page to authenticate me. From this demo video, we can see customization of a web authentication page on a Cisco wireless LAN controller is actually very simple. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for choosing Cisco.